Anything? Oh, shotgun. Shotgun is terrifying. See this man? No, you don't. <laughs> hey there, strangers. My name's Theos, and this is Metal Slug. Specifically, this is the 10th anniversary Metal Slug Anthology Collection on the PSP. So some of you might remember that absolutely ages ago, I played Metal Slug. I believe it was X and part of Metal Slug 1 uh, on the channel, and I love the Metal Slug series. It is the peak of run and gun action. It's up there with Contra and uh, with Gunstar Heroes and stuff like that. A whole bunch of indie games I play on the channel. That sort of game style, I absolutely adore. Um, but fun fact, the Metal Slug Anthology is one of the few games on the PS5 I have found actually has issues with backwards compatibility, which is beyond annoying. And I've really wanted to go back to the Metal Slug series. So I've decided to go ahead and just emulate the PSP version. This is the, the version I played the most of anyway, and I actually own like four copies of most of these Metal Slug games anyway, digitally. So, I mean, it's not like I feel bad about emulating this thing. I have a whole history of uh, emulating Metal Slug in general anyway. But hey, I want to play some Metal Slug, and this is the easiest way I can get around to doing it without it, you know, running like garbage, because for some reason the Steam ports have some issues sometimes, only on some of them. I don't know which ones and why. Um, but hey, we're going to play it on here and uh, have a little bit of a retrospective. I might just play through all of these at some point. Who knows? That would be fun. I might do that anyway, whether people like it or not, because I freaking love the series. What do you say we get started? So like I said, this is the PSP version of this game. This was also on the, uh, I think the PS2 and the Wii, and then also I have it on the PS4, this exact collection. And this is a really good one. Unfortunately, for some reason at this point, um, they they seem content to just release these games individually on like the the switch and stuff And it's uh, quite annoying because this is a really nice like look at this uh, right again This is the PSP one. So the uh, the cut scenes you're seeing right there not the highest resolution But all the other ones are fine. The gameplay is fine. Just fine. Fine. Just fine. Yes But you got Metal Slug 1, Metal Slug 2, we've got X, which I believe that's the one we've completed on the channel uh, Metal Slug 3, 4, 5, and 6. We do not have a uh, double X, which I think is the only thing that's come out since this series compilation came out on the freaking PSP. So it's been a while. I think there might be a seven. Is it seven double X maybe, and then a whole bunch of little mobile games, stuff like that. And it has a whole bunch of cool unlockables in this mode, or in this this series here. You got the gallery, which as we play through the games and stuff, you unlock wallpaper and, you know, art galleries and music and stuff. And interviews, which is silly, but hey, that's really cool. But um, I don't know, I really like this collection. I played a lot, but I have a feeling you guys are here for the gameplay. So what do you say? We start up some Metal Slug 1. Single player, you can host an online game in your PSP, because those are totally still alive. But uh, hey, let's get going. <laughs> I love this series so much! I'm really glad to be playing it again. So what do you say we, uh, we jump into this? So, as I mentioned before, we have technically played Metal Slug 1 on the channel. And I, I was happy with that video because I managed to do a no-hit run at the first level. We'll see if I can still do that because it has been a while since I played this. Um, but we'll see. We're going to give it a shot and see how this works. So, as you should expect, because it is Metal Slug, there is run and gun. See, as we are gunning, we are running. <laughs> this, the resolution is a little bit lower than I remember, but it's fine. These sprites are still just the most beautiful things that have ever been put to horrible, disgusting, murderous stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway. Ooh, a little bit of a frame rate hiccup there. We, well, I'll deal with it later. Doesn't matter. I'm just happy to be playing some else. Like, could you touch this man? Touch him. Touch the man. Hello, you. Both of you die. <laughs> get out of my way so I can touch this man. Thank you. you. Get that. Yes, cool. All that's good. Get out of my way. Everybody move. Everybody die. Stop being in my way. There we go. Ha ha! Yes! Beautiful destruction. Ah, uh, murderous intent. And now it's time for helicopter. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Helicopter? Doing good there? So, like I said before, I have a pretty heavy history with the... Uh, with Metal Slug specifically, it was... These were the first games I ever emulated as a kid. Uh, I don't remember, because, I mean, who owned a Neo Geo? Nobody. Uh, but as a child, I... Uh, somebody somewhere had told me, hey, you can totally emulate these. Like, what? I can play these games I've never played. And then I wanted to get on top of that. Uh, however, this is having some issues, so let's uh, let's deal with that. Actually, it looks like the emulation, like stuttering, is only on the part where I'm seeing it. It's not in the actual emulate or the, the recording, I think. So I'm just going to roll through this level. I'll try to fix it after that. I'm just going to play this in slow frame rate mode. Don't worry about it. I can't see squat. Just know, I know this game well enough that I am playing this at like... Mm, 
in two frames a second. <laughs> it's cool, don't worry about it, it's fine. I'll just, I'll get through it. Holy crap, can we get through this without taking a hit if I can't even see what's going on? Maybe. I've played this enough. But yeah, so I play. I emulated the crap out of these, I, I really enjoyed it. And because I did that, I fell in love with the series and played it a lot, so I don't really feel bad about a you know, emulating, because I ended up buying them all. Like, I had them on the PSP when I could get them there, and then I bought them on the PS4. I have them individually, mostly on the Switch. I have them on Steam. Uh, I'm bad with money. Uh, I just, I love this series. And the way I got to that was ease of access. So emulation followed by this compilation, which is great. Because it gave me a chance to actually, you know, play this amazing, amazing series. And uh, be able to share with you guys, because it's cool. So either way, we've got a giant laser thingy. Uh, it, it's not happy about us being here for some reason. I don't know. It, it's just a big jerk. We're fighting the, uh, I don't remember what this army is called. They're a bunch of, the Red Ribbon Army. They're a bunch of jerks. How am I surviving this? I can't see anything. I actually don't know how bad this looks for you guys. I, I apologize if it looks like absolute trash, but, uh, I'll, I'll get through this level and then I'll figure it out. But I find it amusing that I'm actually managing to get through this somehow. But hey, this is the titular Metal Slug! We're, whoop. Oh no, we took a hit. Oh, I could not see anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll jump over that. There we go. Yeah! And mission is completed. A uh, booyah. I, really, does, I think it looks fine on the recording. I'm going to go back and check in a second. But hey, we took a no death run, almost a no hit run, despite the fact that I legit couldn't see squat. <laughs> hey, I think we saved everybody. Maybe. And mission one complete. Oh yeah! Booyah! I know I screwed up there. We'll do that in a second. Welcome to Metal Slug 1 on the Steam Store, a game that if I try to full screen, it just makes my monitor freak out and the recording gets all screwy. So we'll see if this wants to work. We will find out. Uh, hey, there's different, what, there's different modes? Yeah, uh, arcade mode, I forgot this was a thing. One player there. Hey, here we go. Oh no, it's widescreenified. Let's fix that. There we go. That's what this game is supposed to look like. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch me play through this entire level again. You know, look how much faster it is. You know what? Screw it. I was gonna make you watch through it, but we're just gonna. What, what button is jump? Oh no, these buttons are weird. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The, 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 I don't know. The Steam ports are not the best versions of these games. Look how much faster it is. If anybody has made it through that uh, the slideshow version of this game, uh, hey, I appreciate you sticking around. But now we're gonna do this properly and probably die just to you know spite me, <laughs> just because it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna die to this. Nothing's gonna stop me. I guess I got Metal Slug. I got Metal Slug in my veins! Actually, that sounds like a really serious medical problem. Anyway, this first level's not particularly long, as we saw earlier. Even with a slow frame rate mode, it <laughs> blew through it. I may have played Metal Slug a few times. There's a chance that I might kind of somewhat know what I'm doing. Kablamo! <laughs> However, the jump button's in a weird spot. I keep pressing the wrong button. No worry about it. Anyway, so here's some of that. Here's one of these. I'll probably need to change this control soon. But yeah, so Metal Slug, I love this series. Like, it's these the sprites on this are just amazing, and apparently, probably pretty expensive, seeing as they have re reused these sprites in every freaking game they've ever made. Um, and a lot of, like, fan mods and stuff I've seen of other things, just like, people love the Metal Slug sprites, because they are very expressive, they're very well done for games that came out in 1990... <laughs> something. Uh, but it's really, they're, they're great. Uh, they're, you know, a little bit cartoony and such, but I think they work really, really well. Um, but also, uh, I oh yeah, I was going to say the, uh, those gas canisters, if you were curious. Uh, those are the health for our metal slug, and this thing right here is a metal slug. This giant tank thing is specifically a metal slug. Um, because that's what just these things are. And then we'll have different versions of Metal Slug, like Metal Slug Camel, uh, Metal Slug, you know, that, that's the thing I said. Um, you know, all sorts of weird, goofy things that, uh, th this, this series does not stray away from just being goofy and stupid. Uh, but just embracing the stupid, which, as we all know, is something I love. So, that's something that, uh, that, that speaks to me. I don't think I can get up there unless I get out of this mech and I don't feel like dying on my, uh, third run of this. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, can we do it this time? Yes, we can! Ah, booyah! Who get that health? Yeah, not well, not health, that ammo. <laughs> it's health for my gun. And, ah, uh, booyah! We have done it once again. So we have now beaten the first level three times on this channel without taking a kit or taking a death. We took some damage that last time, but bam! There we go. Okay, so the, the, 
the frame rate just freaks out on this game. These, these ports just aren't great. All the PSP just ran great. And on the PS4, it ran great. I'm very upset that this is having uh, trouble for me to just show it off again. Either way, let's murder these poor men who are just sitting around eating food because, you know, they're monsters. Look at them. Stabby stab. So we're fighting against uh, the evil army, which unfortunately have some sort of wyvern as their... Uh, oh, yeah, you can break... Oh, look at that. Look at the dynamic uh, destruction. I don't know. Not really dynamic. It's, just, it's cool. Yeah, stand up into that. It's cool, like, just the level of details of one sprites. You can scoot under here. Scooty scoot. Yeah, come on, sit up. Sit up. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. That's bad. Oh, we're to E3. Oh, wait, why does it say E3? Yeah, we're at E3. Oh, we almost got shot. Have a grenade. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, we called a train or something. Actually, you know, if we do this, haha, -ha, one shot burns them all. It's kind of hard to line them up, though. Whoop, there you go. Burn, burn them. Series is so good! Burn them all! Let's see how far we can go without dying. It's probably gonna be about five seconds for me saying that. Because this uh, series is notorious for just munching all of the quarters that you theoretically would have. I think we can totally do something. Oh no, that fish! Um, this monkey, we could get, like, jump down to the monkey or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna do all that. Alright, this is the jump button. The buttons are in a weird placement. I don't like it. But don't worry about it. Gotta save this man. So I didn't really explain anything. I assume everyone knows all about Metal Slug. But running and gunning, we're fighting the uh, totally not Nazis. Um, so it's evil organization of some kind as uh, just Rambo dude. Uh, there's multiple people. This is Marco, I think. There's Marco, Tarma, uh, and a couple other people. Actually, I think they end up having like eight or so over time. Uh, but these are just prisoners of war which we want to save because we are, of course, the heroes. Every time you save them, if you touch them after saving them, they will give you stuff, which, you know, of course, you want. Let's grab this right here before this all sinks and they shoot me anymore. Goodbye! <laughs> a lot of, like, just fun interactive stuff. Like, these guys are just coming off the boat, like, down there so they can shoot at us and stuff. We gotta throw grenades. Um, I don't know this game too well. Uh, but then when we wreck it, it's like, oh, they're trying to, like, pump the water out of it. It's really adorable. And I should have gotten that rocket ammo, but I didn't. But I'm glad I didn't fall in the water, because that would have been embarrassing. Look, they're swimming down there. We can shoot them. <laughs> we could be horrible monsters. Back to them, because they are themselves horrible monsters. They're trying to take over the world, because of course they are. Anything? Oh, shotgun. Shotgun is terrifying. Blam! Blam! <laughs> yeah, I know I've shown this off before, but look. You see this man? No, you don't. <laughs> it just vaporizes people. And, uh, including uh, tanks, which I believe are about to show up. Come here, tank. Tank. Where are you, tank? No. 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 Hello, tank. Just uh, one, two shotgun. Hold on. Wait for it. Blam! <laughs> I know this too well. I've played this once or 80 times. Um, these games are great for pick up and play. And they're, you know, not super long, which one makes it good for to do a you know, playthrough on a channel or something. Get away from the wreck through that. Look at all this just awesome sprite work. It's so nice. So well done. I'm glad I got the shotgun. It is scary. Goodbye! Why is there a train track up there? Who did that? Whose idea was that? <laughs> Grab this real fast. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Rocket Man! He was the first guy! Oh, Rocket Man, you're the hero of the enemy forces. I'm gonna kill all your friends now. Alright. We finally took a kit, and it was about halfway through. We, oh, we were about to be in a metal slug. Here's the boss and everything. We're so close. Ah, it's upsetting. I've gotten into the metal slug. Also, these guys will just wander off screen. If they do get off screen, you don't get to get the stuff from them. They'll say thank you, and then they'll leave, and you won't see them again. I shoot these guys before they can drop bombs on us. Metal slug does just kind of... The, the gun is separate from the, uh, the, the tank. It doesn't always just shoot forward. So you can kind of aim it in the direction that you're going, but you move at the same time. So it's a little bit... A little jank. That's fine. And the uh, the regular old turret just fires forward. Oh, I'm so bad that we died. Oh, no. Okay, so we've got to fire ourselves. An aeroplane is going to be dropping bombs and stuff, but we can hide under here. Don't mind me. I don't actually know if we can hide under that one. Nope. Okay, that's so why he shoots the other things. I guess this gives us better range. Hey, how you doing? All right, can I get back down here? Let me shoot you. Oh, no, the jump button is just the wrong... It's the equivalent of triangle. No, not even triangle. No, it's not. It's a little square. It's a weird place for that. Either way... Uh, luckily in this, we can just kind of mow him down by just lots and lots and lots of bullets. <laughs> oh no, explosion! Don't mind me. It's gonna just mash and mash it. We hold it, it, it doesn't fire more than once, so we just gotta... It's a game about the mashing. Oh no! It's Evil Man! Look at him with his eye patch. That means he's evil. Let's shoot him with that. Here, have one of these. And have one of these. Here you go. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Good sheep, sheep shooting him? Yep. Yeah. Really should just fire this and then fire these off occasionally whenever you get a chance to. 
Man, I've got to rebind these controls. <laughs> I'll do that before the next episode. Because we're, I, this, we're doing a playthrough here. This is going to go all the way through. Yeah! Suck it, evil dude! So, unfortunately, because we died, uh, we didn't get to have the POWs that we saved b before we died. It only saves all the ones in this life um, for our bonus. So that kind of sucks. But, hey, mission two is completed. Ah, booyah! I love this series! I love this game! It's so good! So, again, I apologize for just the, the weird intro to this and the fact that we played through the first level twice. But hey, if any of you actually stuck around through that and kept watching, you have my greatest appreciation. In fact, sound off if you're still watching, because I'm genuinely curious if that just chased everyone off is the beginning of this probably looked like a freaking slideshow. Um, which, in all fairness, old games with this much stuff going on, that happened anyway. Um, Slowdown is notorious for old running on cheers and for the Mouse Slug series. In fact, as uh, my friend Kata would point out, like, we loved the slowdown back in the day because it was like bullet time. It gave you a chance to dodge things uh, as they were coming at you, especially as a kid when you're like, you're, you know, your reflexes are good, but your like coordination's bad and you're just like, you're panicking all the time. So you're just like, oh no, what do I do? And then, you know, you just die because you freak out. Anyway, it's time to shoot that thing. I wonder how we do that. Maybe by shooting this. Hold on, gotta just uh, throw this at you real fast. Boom. And just throw a couple of these in there, blow that up. You have to hit this button so that it uh, stays open. Who made a, like, it's like a weird giant door that has a, a giant button. It's like 20 feet off the ground? I don't know if you call this ground. I don't know, it's a lot of nonsense. Don't worry about it. Hey, here's a bird. Save the bird. Avoid this. Goodbye. Let's just jump over you. Excuse me, don't mind me. Ha ha! You fool! You should have minded me! There's garbage down there. We don't want that. Oh no, it's this guy. I don't know what his name is, to be honest. Whoa! He's a scary, scary man, though. But everyone knows that. Just eat all of the grenades I have left. And then avoid. Avoid! And see if I can get through him without dying. It's actually quite difficult. Uh, he's got the same gun we do, but like slightly less shootage, which is very good for us. Get up here. Get up here. Come on, you coward. Face me. Face me on even terms while I'm like, go oh, no. Oh, 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 we're dead. Oh, a preemptive. Oh, no. Can he not come up this high? I thought he could. Maybe he can't. Maybe he's stuck down here. Ha ha! And then jump and dodge. Oh, the redder he gets, the closer to exploding he is. It's like old timey bosses where you had to kind of uh, give the visual indicator of damage was usually flashing or changing colors. So this man is slow. Maybe he's bloodier now. And we've seen this game is not. Oh, no! <laughs> it's not a verse. Here, just have some grenades. Fine, grenade, grenade, grenade. Get up here. Yeah, there he is. So close. So close. <laughs> I'm um, not averse to, um, you know, the, the violence, which is fine. It's a video game, so who cares? It's fun. All right, let's kill that guy. Don't you shoot over here. Let me shoot rockets at you. Rocket? Rocket launcher! As we, uh, everybody who knows the series knows. Hold on. Excuse me. <laughs> you were kind of in my way. Yeah, the, uh, the announcer guy is just the best and also is probably not an English speaker <laughs> natively because it's like, shout good, rocket launcher, <laughs> instead of rocket launcher. Every, if, you talk to someone about Metal Slug, that guy is in the poopatorium. Uh, he's, oh, he flushed himself down the toilet. Why? Is there actually plumbing out here in that? That's weird. Anyway, so you say a uh, rocket launcher, they'll know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> In fact, I've, oh, I should have played some of this with Akata, because Akata's been on, like, a Metal Slug kick, which is kind of what maybe possibly reminded me to play some more of this. Just freaking love these games! That and, like, I don't know, channel-wise, I'm just kind of in the mood to uh, go back to our roots a little bit and play some of the older stuff that I miss. So here we are. Kablamzo, take that wall that's in equally spaced segments. They'll teach you, oh no! You see that sprite, he got bigger and more detail as it came towards the camera, that's crazy! It blew our minds back in the day! No one could do that! That's, that's beyond the realm of our technology. Hello, how are you? Explode now. Nope, stop shooting at me, explode now, thank you. Gotta get that guy somehow. How do I get down there? I don't remember. Oh well, maybe he's gonna come over here. Like he's gonna come the same direction we are. Maybe. Possibly. Sir? Sir, do I have to go down the stairs? I'm gonna touch you. Come on, let me touch him! Let me touch this man! Ah! Oh! Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do that, but he cut off screen too fast. That's fine. This is not going to be a 100% perfect run, obviously. But you know what? I have like, I legit haven't played this in years. Uh, so... Actually, the last time I played this might have been... No, I, I have to have played it since we did the video, right? 
No, that was the PS4 version. So no, I think that was the last time. It's been a bit. I love this series, but like, there's only so many times you play the same game. Um, but still, it's been a while, so we're doing pretty good. I'd say. I'm happy with it. And rocket launch here. There it is. Oh, okay, so th this this is jump. <laughs> Gotta remember. Oh, no! You know what? On bosses, best to just unload all of your grenades. Do you want to, like, do this kind of the lazy way, as I often did as a child? Um, just grenades. All the grenades, and then when you die, you get more grenades. So then you just throw more grenades. <laughs> so if you have infinite tries, hey, enjoy your victory. You're not going to lose against that. Why is he not firing his other thing? I mean, I'm glad he's not, but I don't know why he's not. I'm very confused. Maybe it's because I keep making him go back and forth. I don't know, but I think we got him. Got a boss, no kill run again. Ah, booyah, yeah, mission three. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, we saved some captured prisoners. Ah, booyah, that guy's name is Lemon. And Dionysus, that's a dinosaur. A Katie's, I never really pay attention to those. Mission three, complete. Yeah! And I think that is where we're going to end this episode. That might be where we ended the uh, the previous one. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, hey, we're going to pause that there. So hey, this has been Metal Slug 1. I hope you guys are enjoying some classic running gun action. Again, if you made it through this episode, I genuinely appreciate it. Let me know. Sound off in the comments. Or also, which is your favorite Metal Slug? We're going to do some call to action, but I genuinely love this series. So I want to hear your thoughts on Metal Slug and playing through these. If you want to play, me play through all these, I totally will because I freaking love them. But either way, this has been some Metal Slug. I hope you guys have enjoyed Retro Running Gun Perfection. Take care. Care, and I will see you next time. Bye.